Now we're on the final stretch of assembling this boiler. Um, I showed you last time cutting down the stays. They've been cut down. They probably need a bit more dressing up. This needs a bit more dressing here where the uh, solder has overflowed a bit. That's okay. That's general. It's just putting more solder on, making sure that the joints are all good. I'm not going to clean that up until I finally um, assemble the, the rest of the boiler. What I'm going to do now is um, put in the foundation ring. That's the ring that goes around here. And this has to be very carefully made because you, well, I want it to be um, a close fit so the solder um, goes properly into the joint. So I've, I've very carefully cut, taken my time over it, making these pieces of copper suitable for the gap that's there. And the gap here, you'll see, is slightly bowed, and I did that because it was a little bit wide for the frames, and the only choice I had was just to squeeze it in a little bit, and it caused that bow. That's no problem at all. I did that before I put the stays in and the inner firebox. So I'm going to start assembling this here. That's the front piece of the foundation ring. This is a, um, a side piece of the foundation ring. Yep. And just that copper rivet goes through there just to hold it so it doesn't fall in or move when I'm soldering it, or brazing it I should say. I say the same thing because it's called silver solder, I call it soldering, but it's not your lead solder. It's that uh, rather more powerful silver solder, much much stronger. Uh, lead solder has too low a melting point for a job like this. So that's that other piece. Now this is the back head, and the back head I made it. I I um, took a design from a Japanese uh, live steamer. I'm just making sure this is straight. I took a design from a Japanese live steamer who made small who made a small boiler like this. You can catch him on YouTube. And what he did was he because the, the the back of the boiler is dry. I there's no water space as is on the sides and the front. Um, and most boilers are like this to give a little bit of extra length to the uh, the grate. What he did, which was really cool, I thought, was made the whole of the back head of the firebox right from the crown in a firebox down the sides, made it a hinge door. Now this isn't the fire hole door, this is just to get in and service the firebox. I'll explain that a little bit more when I get there to make this flap and you'll see how it works. It's not the fire hole, just allow me to get into the grate. So this fits on here like this. It's a little bit of a tight fit, as it should be by the way. The foundation rings in, back plate's in. I put a piece of wire around here just to hold the back plate more firmly against the foundation ring. Last piece is a bushing for the water gauge to go in here. That's in fine. Now what I'll do is, uh, as I've done before, I'll uh, put some uh, flux paste around all the joints here because it's, again it's going to take a few, quite a few minutes to solder all this together. I've got this joint here, I've got this joint here, I've got the foundation ring and I want the flux to uh, keep working all that time. So wish me luck.